Yo, what's going on? It's Payday Pokemon back with another random V-Box. Um, we got two very recently. They came out, I guess, technically Evolving Skies era, but I think the next set was already out. But, uh, yeah, they released this and they released Hoopa. Hoopa we've already opened. I kind of wanted to showcase the Dragonite because I found it for 20 bucks in my local game shop. Much like everything else. Oh, no, no, Fusion Strike is out. There it is. Hey, okay. No, it's either both Fusion Strike. And I forgot about that, too, because the Hoopa is definitely Fusion Strike. The Dragonite is actually from Evolving Skies. So if you need to pick up some Dragonite copies, because uh, I didn't realize this, this Dragon Gale is pretty sick, though. You can do 250 damage, and you can do 20 damage each of your bench Pokemon. I don't know if there's a synergy to make it with another Pokemon that, like, deals more damage with damage counters on it, but, like, that's pretty good. Or I feel like there's got to at least be a way to heal your bench or something when you do that, but, man, he kills him quick. That's, like, really strong. That's, like, a any Pokemon V is basically just dead to this thing. One shot, no cap. And if you put Cape of Toughness on, that puts you up to 280. <laughs> That's a lot of health for, like, a normal basic Pokemon V. Uh, I don't know why we weren't really using it, but I guess, like, the water and electric is kind of annoying to have to do. Uh, I saw somebody make a deck. I'm going to have to go look at the profile for it, but, like, this card's kind of fun. And just, what's the first thing? This tax damage is affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokemon. Okay, I mean, it could break through some stuff if you really need to uh, get a quick knockout. And then 250 plus 50. That's not going to be enough to take down your VMAXs. And there's really no way to up the damage output. So, mm, I don't know. But if you can, like, stunt some people and get your energy quick enough to take out the Pokemon V, this card seems pretty freaking good. And then you get an actual nice little assortment here. You get basically... All of the main sets that have been out pretty recently. And I believe Darkness Ablaze On is being reprinted right now like crazy and is basically in every store. But I'm sure you already knew that because uh, <laughs> it's funny. I, I'm seeing a lot of... I think the hype now is finally it's finally dead. At, at least until Brilliant Stars comes out. I think right now we are in a good lull where everybody's kind of got access to everything. And I know I've seen actually a lot of people just saying like, Oh yeah, I'm sick of like buying packs just because... Uh, you know, I pull like a $1 to $2 card and I'm like, yeah, that's right. Okay, so if you do want to play, just buy the cards outright. Um, and if you're going to actually buy to just keep selling, like this isn't it. And it's nice because like nobody wants this anymore. So booster boxes are down to like 80 bucks. The world is here. Oh, shit, that's fucking crazy. Okay. <laughs> ah, sorry, Togekiss VMAX. Okay, I need to put my sleeves on the other side. This is not my sleeve hand. My off hand is like losing its mind. I'm right-handed. Uh, if you couldn't already tell from these videos. Holy shit, that's awesome. Uh, Togek can still see some play every now and again. Oh my god, I have not seen the rainbow of this thing. Yo, why does it look like the Smash Bros logo is like in there? You see that weird color off-centering thing? Holy shit. Okay, this box is already worth it. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, I was gonna say, I was like, what else is good out of Vivid besides uh, the Chunky Pikachu in terms of like what people want to get? Um, I don't even know if I need anything out of Image. I guess I'll take more Rayquaza Amazing Rare. I've really just been looking for that a lot lately. Uh, just because I still haven't pulled it myself. I got it traded by the the wonderful Lustrious on uh, Instagram. Thank you so, so, so much. <laughs> That's such a big help for me. But uh, anything out of Chilling? No. I don't even remember what I was saying before that. That caught me so freaking off guard. Damn, I haven't got like a nice big hit in a while. Evolving? Yep, okay. I'm making sure I'm doing the right one. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty nice. I picked up another Evolving Skies booster box for a pretty decent rate for my local shop. Um, that's another thing, too. Like, you're going to start seeing all these little shops trying to sell their scrap out for, like, a lot less. And, like, don't give in. If your local shop has to sell a little higher for whatever reason because, you know, they're trying to make ends meet or they're just getting stuff back in. Oh, that was a green. That was a green code. <laughs> that was a green code for sure. And we get Metacham. Very nice. Um, he's still got that Yoga Loop attack, which sees some play in Urshifu decks and whatnot to try to give yourself that second turn. <laughs> right? That's how it works? Yeah, you take another turn. Wild. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Just, like, keep supporting your LGSs. If you feel like they're actually doing some wrong and they're mispricing things, and you know, talk to them about it, maybe ask why, but, you know, if they've been doing you good this whole time and then are suddenly putting prices up, like, don't... Or, like, you know, like, if other people, so people are dropping prices ridiculously low, like, just... Stay with them, because remember, when this stuff goes back up, if it ever does go back up, or if a new set comes out and some, like, these other sites are overcharging, they're going to do you good. And nothing else. We got the self-destruct golem. Damn, but that many out of one box. Okay, Dragonite V pretty stacked. <laughs> That's not bad. What, we got two hits plus the main one? And the one was on a green code, which is really dumb, but hey, they can't fix them for whatever reason anymore. I don't know why they keep doing this. 
So yeah, I don't know. I think the Dragon IV box is maybe more worth it than Hoopa. Hoopa has some play in Eternatus, but I think the Dragonite looks a lot cooler. And I don't know, I'm, I'm just not a fan of Eternatus decks, so playing Dragonite as like a silly uh, Pokemon V killer is kind of cool. And dang, packs actually went pretty good. So yeah, and, uh, good luck finding booster boxes of this stuff if you're still looking for anything special out of it. I don't know, I still get more meaning out of actually pulling this stuff myself. That's why I do it um, in moderation with how much I know I can spend. So yeah, well, that's my shtick, that's my spiel. I'll do a little recap on this box to see the price, because that thing, I don't know how much that's worth now. Probably not much, but hey, we'll see anyway. Adios.